It hasn't been brain surgery. You know, it, it, it never had to get this bad in the first place. Community- well, if, if it was brain surgery, <laughs> listen, man, if it was brain surgery, <laughs> now listen, I think the situation is hopeless as it is. But if it was brain surgery, man, <laughs> it's a wrap, man. Make sure you hit the PayPal Cash App Super Chat. Support the channel. It hasn't been brain surgery. You know, it, it, it never had to get this bad in the first place. Community member and activist Mark Cannon was one of many Baltimoreans at City Hall Wednesday, all here to learn more about the city's new initiative aimed at engaging youth when school lets out. It's called Be More This Summer, a combination of structured youth activities, social work, and a curfew for kids that aims to keep the role of police limited. BPD will be not taking any. (laughs) Keep the role of police limited. Why? Why? Oh, yeah, that's right. Because if the police interact with the kids, they're going to shoot them. Because yeah, that kid got shot the other day. Yeah, that kid pulled out the gun while he was running. So now you can't have the police around the kids. Salute to Eric S. Op Nation Hall of Fame. We're coming through once again. Social work and a curfew for kids. That aims to keep the role of police limited. BPD will be not taking any information from the youth. We will not be transporting the youth or arresting the youth for curfew violations. Instead, if officers see a crowd of 10 or more kids, they'll call the Youth Connection Center. Volunteers and city staff will show up and encourage young people to go to one of their (laughs) rec center sites. Hold on, man. I got to play this back, man. You got, first of all, you got this fucking white lady making decisions about sun teens. That's criminal. This woman is in charge of how we going to deal with the sun teens in summertime. (laughs) You serious? Are you serious, man? Are you fucking serious? for curfew violations. Instead, if officers see a crowd of 10 or more kids, they'll call the Youth Connection Center. Volunteers and city staff will show up and encourage young people to go to one of their rec center sites. There, kids- Hold on, there? No, what if they don't take the encouragement? What if they verbally abuse the police? Because the police show up, the kids gonna be cussing at them, throwing shit at them saying all type of vulgar stuff to them. Then the little fucking response team shows up (laughs) with no guns, no authority. Come on, guys, please. You want to go to the rec center tonight? (laughs) I mean, we know you came out to loot stores and steal cars and assault people, but You want to go to a place where there are no people to assault except for us and there's no stores to loot and there's no (laughs) cars to jack? You want to go do that? (laughs) Like like Patrice O'Neal said, ain't that better? (laughs) Ain't that better? Yeah, listen, man, they they. (laughs) They, they didn't come out for that, man. They came out to loot and destroy and assault people and rob people and steal and smash up shit. Limited. BPD will be not taking any information from the youth. We will not be transporting the youth or arresting the youth for curfew violations. Instead, if officers see a crowd of 10 or more kids, they'll call the Youth Connection Center. Volunteers and city staff will show up and encourage young people to go to one of their rec center sites. There, kids will find activities, a place to sleep, and food. 
They'll also offer music festivals, cookouts, and more throughout the summer. At the end of the night, parents will be called. Curfew infractions will be implemented as needed, putting the responsibility on those parents. If a kid refuses the services, peer ambassadors will be called in. We will be leveraging those young folks to try to be that. Uh-oh, her again. <laughs> Miss Sticky Fingers, man. This brother stole millions of dollars, man, and she still got her job, man. Goddamn Sticky Fingers, man. Uses the services, peer ambassadors will be called in. We will be leveraging those young folks to try to be that strong, encouraging force. It is our intention to be relentless. And quite frankly, we believe that the level of relentlessness will have young people <laughs> dispersing, right? The goal is... Uh, no. Uh, no. The fact that you can smile, the fact that these two goddamn mammies is in here smiling, when this is going to cost people their lives, man, people in Baltimore are going to die behind this. They're going to be in the hospital. Stores are going to be fucking destroyed. Employees are going to have to fucking stay to fucking 6 o'clock in the morning to fucking clean up all the mess and shit. And you got these two fucking mammies smiling ear to ear. What's this person? We believe that the level... There's nothing to be smiling about. <laughs> I'm offended by this shit, man. We leveraging those young folks to try to be that strong, encouraging force. It is our intention to be relentless. And quite frankly, we believe that the level of relentlessness will have young people <laughs> dispersing, right? The goal is to bring the community together in caring for Baltimore's kids. Cannon says he just hopes this new plan will work. What I hope we can do is get these young people off of the street and get them to resources. Now that curfew does start in two days this Memorial Day weekend. As for those resources and activities, they start up this Sunday at Rashfield, 6 to 10 p.m. There will be an event just for teens, including activities. Man. <laughs> what you gonna have a house party when you play an NBA young boy and shit? You have a dice game? I mean, what the fuck activities is gonna fucking keep? <laughs> the fuck are they talking about? Kids don't want to do that shit. They're not going to do this shit. Now that curfew does start in two days this Memorial Day weekend. As for those resources and activities, they start up this Sunday at Rashfield, 6 to 10 p.m. There will be an event just for teens, including food and live music. Again, that is this Sunday. Live at the Inner Harbor, I'm Tommy Clark, WBAL TV 11 News.